uh, me being a, mus- a musician and an artist, illustrating is uh, is something that I think has taken a while to uh, be fully respected for its potency. So it's kind of catching up with music and the rest of the medias that are that are around. I had for a long time been working to find a way to merge the two, so I wouldn't have to. Uh, have to market them separately. And the gorillas was like the, my first brush with somebody who knew that that was the way it was supposed to be too. And for that reason, the, it was the cartoon and the sound of the music that gravitated me towards them. Before that, I have to tell a story. Before that, it was single, let's say five or six singles from random bands that I'd heard. But after I picked out those records and figured out, uh, I'd say about 1990-ish till around now, after 1990, was, they just trickled out these group of little singles from random bands, you know, one was Blur, and I was like, you know, there's something about these six records that sound really familiar and sound like like different than everything else. And I found that they were from the same dude. Damon Auburn was the writer of every single one of those records. And these were records I was picking out randomly out of the alternative world. Just that one, that one, see that one, the way that one feels right there, that It was very specific. There's no way. There's no way I could have happened to hit all six of those singles without there being something familiar pulling me to those those songs. So when I found out uh, that I was working with Damon and found out in the studio that he created woohoo that record, I almost peed my pants because. This like merged my my first bout with illustration, my first bout with you know being with teenage angst, with skateboarding, with all of those things kind of merged together, and that was the song, the soundtrack to that record. And now I'm looking at the dude, and I'm about to work with the same dude. And this is like a mind trashing. I'm talking about just really threw me. So now I'm going to myself. Okay, calm down. Everything's gonna be cool. <laughs> You'll get through this one too. <laughs> but yeah, your mind is effed up right now. <laughs> you in trouble. And you need to realize that, you know, life is a lot bigger and works a lot faster than you might anticipate at times. Musically speaking, like I said, um, I'm not really focused in on one particular thing. I try to appreciate it all and count it all every day and sometimes I fall asleep doing it. I remember the first time I saw Feel Good Inc. and it actually was on a videotape of other videos with like skateboard stuff and like, you know how teenagers do. We we make a bunch of stuff of all the stuff we like. We put it all in some weird order that that doesn't matter. And a friend of mine had it on one of his videotapes. And every time, you know, it would be one of the tunes between the, you know, the, maybe the Delight video and a, and a skateboard, uh, Jason Lee Blind video, you know. And that would come on it. And, and Feel Good was, always felt good. Damon's got this knack, man, you know, for understanding people. I really think he, he does have a thing where he, he understands the human condition enough to know what's gonna turn it off and what's gonna turn it on, you know what I mean? And I think that's what the artist's job is, you know, you have to become a doctor of sorts, you know, and know what to administer to what person, to what degree. Too much of something will make him freak out and turn it into the, to the, the, you know, the right bit of this and the right bit of that, he'd be all right. You know, he'll feel real happy for life and won't make any trouble about it. When I saw that feel good video from Gorillaz, it was like kind of a, a two worlds meeting and I knew it was right 
finally done right. You know, it was that, that world of MTV that they had all of the, the digital imagery that had like just inanimate soundtracks under it. Maybe it might be some drum and bass or some techno and these weird things flying around and all that. It was that world that was finally, he made sense of it. The world that created uh, uh, the, that noir world. I'm, I'm really excited to know that I was somebody who took advantage of that visual and kept it with me because it's, it helped me to create with the band later. And I feel a lot more at ease than I think I would have felt had I not seen that video and saw it hit me like that. Because if I had just heard it, it would probably hit me differently than hearing it and seeing it, you know. Cut from the video watching of Feel Good, you know, on that skater video in the 90s. Cut to now where I'm post having worked with with Damon Auburn on the Humans album. Not at all the direction I was going. But let me tell you, man, I'm so happy I went this direction. You know, the experience of it, you can't buy it. You can't buy that experience. You know, those are the things that I cherish. These are the kind of experiences that, you know, we, we learn from. And I'm, I'm glad to be a part of this thing, man. The Humans album now, thanks to my tune being on there as well, you know, we've been touring over a year and a half. I think that's kind of long. You know, I don't know about anybody else's standards, but that's a while, bro, for me. So, you know, thank God, you know, that's great. I appreciate the universe giving me that, but, you know, I don't know how long it's gonna go, but I'm glad it's, it's still going. We're gonna be on the road in a few weeks, you know? So, you know, I, I thank, you know, Tone for this opportunity, you know, particularly because he's a Chicago boy, you know what I mean? And that's, that's my fam, my family now. Really thick, we, we thick now, I'll say that. And he did me a solid that very few people had the courage to do, you know, considering, you know, the folklore about me, <laughs> the many stories that people might have, you know, about any artist, there's usually stories, but mine seemed to stuck a little bit harder than most, you know, and uh, yeah, I, I have great gratitude to Tom for that. <laughs>